figures. Good timing. Okay, so we are going to take a look at downloading the latest uh, post processor for the Tormach uh, machines, you know, PCNC mills with Pathpilot. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to open up our web browser, and we'll go to cam.autodesk.com slash posts. Right. This is their uh, post library. And you'll see we've got a generic uh, Tormach Pathpilot. It's 48 days ago. Um, just to know, I'm going to go ahead and click the download button. So it's, it's downloaded, and we've got a tormach.cps file down here at the bottom. Uh, just to know, if you go to Tormach's page, and we look at support, we look at post-processors, they actually uh, tell you for those to go to, um, to Fusion. It's the latest Fusion post file with Pathpilot. I mean, it's funny, when I did this on... Uh, on my phone. Let's see if it changes. That's weird. I did this yesterday on my phone. Hmm. It actually pointed me to Fusion 360. So you can also get the uh, the April 11th uh, version. Might as well download that one as well, just so we've got it. Uh, so there's the April uh, April 11th release, and then we're looking at the release here. This includes the one that was released 48 days ago. Includes fourth axis milling and the uh, smart cool support. So um, for the 440, not going to matter uh, as much for the fourth axis since it's not out yet. But for smart cool, uh, it would. All right. So now that I've got these files, here are my files. What do I do? What do I do with them? Well, especially on a Mac, trying to find the place to put these things is ridiculous. So, don't. Let's go to Autodesk, and we're going to go to A360. Right? We're going to go to their online thing. So, I'm going to sign in. I'm going to sign in to A360. All right. Uh, I've got some stuff saved already. Now, here's the trick, right? These are things that I'm actually working on, but if we go to A360 Drive, this is your cloud storage. This is where we store um, our tool libraries or anything. If you turn on cloud uh, cloud storage, this is where it's, it's storing. It's, um, so this is your access to it. You can see simple cloud sharing, file sharing. You can put all kinds of things in here. Right? You get it. Okay. There's a folder called Cam Posts. Right, and this is the one that we're looking for. Here are the files that I have. So actually, it looks like the Pathpilot version that I've been using is old. So I'm going to be up updating. So I'm going to upload, and we're going to go from our downloads here. I'm going to upload both of these guys. That way, I'll be able to. Oh, they're zip files. I didn't notice that one was a zip file. Let's delete that one. And let's unzip it. Okay. Oh, it's the same one. So the 411 labeled version is the 408.cps. So it is the one that I already had up there. Now, so that's the one I've been using, but there is a new one from uh, from Tormach. So now that these files are here and they're in the cloud library, let's go to Fusion 360 and we're going to look at our preferences. And one of the things you can do in your preferences, I believe, is it in preview still? Um, I don't know. Wow, I don't remember where they moved it now. Well, let's just go through it. We'll find it. Uh, here we go, and CAM, Enable Cloud Libraries. There we go, so General, CAM, Enable Cloud Libraries. Okay, so once you do that, and you enable those libraries, you'll see this in a couple of different places. Uh, so let's go to, well actually let me, I'll open up something I've been working on. So lathe files and 
Uh, this is some soft jaws that I was just working on. And I'm actually going to cut these on my mill. So this is a good one. It's a good one to, do, to use. Right, so I uh, switch over to cam. And there's two things that we should be looking for in here. Right? You can now, when you go to your tool library, one of the things you can do is have cloud. Um, you can have your tool library in the cloud. So depending on which machine you're using, you can get to your tool libraries at any point. Um, looks like I don't have anything in here, so I'm going to set something up real quick. Oops. So I at least have something in here for us to work with. Okay, so if I were to, to post, uh, I got to put a toolpath in here. The figures, we'll face it. I use for this one my Superfly. All right, so I got a toolpath. It's going to face this off, right? So now I want to uh, post process it. And in post processors, you'll see that we've got generic posts. Right? And I'm going to open this up a little bit so we can see it a bit more. Um, and in your generic posts, these are all the things that come built in with the machines, right? Or built in with, with Fusion. There's a lot of stuff in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch from generic posts to my cloud posts. And this has my specific posts. So when I had my little mini mill that I uh, was running Linux CNC on, this is what I used. Um, now you'll see I've got a couple of things. Here is the, um, this is the post I used for my lathe, the slant bed lathe. Uh, it is one that um, John Saunders and uh, John Grimsma both were using, and it works really well for me. Um, at some point, I'll probably update, but this one works. Uh, this was the mill post that I had been using, but I'm going to update, and I'm going to use the latest and greatest um, Tormach post. Everything's fine, and I'm going to say, let's look at our properties. I like to, to look at this kind of stuff. Everything looks good here. I don't have a rotary table, so I don't have to worry about that. G30, everything's good. Okay. So, everything is fine. I'm not changing anything in the system. Right? Say okay. And now I want to know where to save this. Right? Where am I saving my post? Well, I typically put my post processors in a folder called G code. No, not post, my, uh, my output, my G code goes into G code. I'm not going to hide the extension because I want to show this part of it. I'm going to create a new folder here and we're going to call this testing. So there's testing. And this is my fake test. And I'm going to say save. And there's a reason I'm doing this. Um, and I want you to, to take a look at this. Because this is the, uh, the part where I think there's a little confusion. And I'm going to go take a look while it's doing that. Let's take a look at, wow. Okay. I'm just going to get my G code folder. I don't know if it actually posted out or not. I'm going to post this again just to make sure. You don't have to open it um, in the you know, after the fact. You don't have to open it in brackets, or you can choose a different. Yeah, you'll see. One dot nc. I'm going to call it fake test again. We're going to replace it. But my point with that is, you want this to you know, be an nc file, not a tap file. All right, so here it is. This is the actual G code for that particular. Um, for that code, right? So this part's not what we're really concerned about. What we're concerned about right now, let's go to testing, is this. So here's our file, right? Fake test.nc. You notice here, there's a .tap file. This was a Linux CNC, was this Linux CNC or Mach 3? It might have been Mach 3. I'll tell you. I'll be able to tell you in a second. Yeah, that's looking like Linux CNC. Um, 
Nope. I'm looking at the dates and times on my .tap files. That was probably Mach 3 or Mach 4. Um, all the .nc files were Linux CNC or now Pathpilot, which is based on Linux CNC. All right, so we've done that. I'm going to plug in a, a USB drive. Okay, so here's our little drive. I'm just going to drag this over here. We'll make sure they're copied and we'll eject it. All right, from here we go over to the actual computer, so I'm going to stop the recording.